What's going on everybody? Johnny here again talking about what sold. Here we are Q4. What is going out? What are we moving out? Uh, not a ton but decent things are picking up. If you've seen our last videos you know the troubles we've had and uh, now we're we're coming out of it and we're back to business as usual here. I had um, uh, fortunately had a buddy in town for the weekend so he has left so now we are we are back to business as usual. So let's look at what things are selling for us and potentially brands that you should be looking out for when you're sourcing. So first things that we have going out, we have not one, but two vintage NFL crew necks that are going out. You'll notice one of these is just on a Tullix tag. So this one is going out for 28 with free shipping. And then this one is on a Russell Athletic tag, and that is going out for 30 plus shipping so huge difference brands uh if you watched our last video i had mentioned we kind of look for brands first and that is a perfect exam example of why two relatively similar looking crew necks in fact this one has more going on for it but because of the tags different prices. especially with it being football season and kind of really in the middle of it vintage crew necks are 20 bucks for sure, um, if not a little bit more so. Um, you know, if you're fortunate enough and your grandpa's still around, you might want to ask him if you can go through his closet because that is the kind of stuff that people are looking for, those 90s crew necks. I know my grandfather was the biggest Bills fan ever, and uh, he passed away in the 90s, but the stuff that I know for a fact that he had, oh, if we had it now still, it would be so, so valuable. So always keep an eye out for uh, vintage NFL and college crew necks. We talked in our last video that for us as clothing resellers, um, fourth quarter doesn't really do much, but what we do see a spike in is new at tag stuff. And this Disney Mickey Mouse all over, that is, New with tags, bins pickup. We probably paid two bucks for it, just sold for 32. And then one other new with tag or, or new thing, if you would, this National Parks board game uh, sold for $32. We'll file this under uh, an early mistake, but this Florida Gator pendant we have had for probably since we started reselling. It's going out for $7. I paid a dollar for it almost two years ago. But just to keep it flat and not have it get in the way, um, anything that's more on the modern side. Now, there's vintage pendants that can go for a lot, um, but not tons of them. But pendants, one thing that I typically avoid. Guys, Johnny here wanted to take a moment and thank you for subscribing or at least thank you for watching this video. While you're here, while you're on our video, also hit that subscribe button. Watch my lunch break videos. Check out Frizzy's insane Goodwill Hall shorts. You're going to love them, but we appreciate you guys so much for being here. Back to the video. Let's talk about our sale of the week bag. It's a Hunter collab with Target. Um, you may be familiar with Hunter when it comes to uh, rain boots, but this, it's actually a backpack cooler collab with Target. Um, we picked up at the bins. It weighs about four pounds, so, um, you know, maybe we paid seven bucks for it, but it's going out for $125. So that is our sale of the week. Just to educate you on some brands... Theory is a great women's Bread and brand, butter women's pan. brand that Frizzy loves to pick up. Jay McLaughlin. A bolo bre a bread and butter brand that typically does well on the men's side. Some women's stuff too, but Woolrich. This vintage quarter zip is heading out for 36 We talked about new with tag. These Wrangler jeans we picked up at the bins for about 3 bucks. They were originally $9.99. They're selling for $25. So we already talked about the the sale of the week, the Hunter Target bag, right? But this is going down as Frizzy's Bazaar sale of the week. It is Thomas Sanders. But guys, look at this thing. Absolutely 
why? Here are a couple pairs of shoes that are going out. When we first started reselling, these Clark's Wallabies did pretty well, but 15 bucks, just get them out of here. These Vionic shoes, Vionic, I don't want to say it's a great brand for us, but it's a pretty good bread and butter brand, and you cannot go wrong with Rothy's. We see comments a lot, and people have asked before, how do you know if your Rothy's are real? Because they can be counterfeited. What you want to do is take the insole out, and then you're going to look right here, and you'll see this sticker. What you want to see is made in China. Yeah, you want to see made in China. If you see made in the USA, chances are they are fake. So one thing I am not is a, a vintage bro or a t-shirt bro or a vintage kit or whatever you want to call it, but I'm a sucker for a good shirt, a good single stitch. You know, a lot of what's in style now was in style when I was a kid, so but I naturally just kind of like it from a nostalgia standpoint. But this Hawaii shirt that I picked up at the bins uh, a couple weeks ago just sold for $18. And just to give you a better look, look at that Maui. It is on that design port tag. But if you ever want to know that a single stitch, you notice just one single stitch there. Most modern shirts have two. So that one there is how you know it's a, st a single stitch. There we have it. Another video. We thank you guys so much. Be sure to comment, like, subscribe, all of that. But what did we learn today? We learned to take out the inner solar Rothy's and make sure they're made in China. Yeah, I know that's usually backwards, but Rothy's should be made in China. And definitely look at sports crew necks. If you can get them for cheap, they're usually a guaranteed 20 bucks. But again, comment, like, subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next one.